Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about relationships within data modeling. Understanding the relationships is crucial for creating accurate and insightful reports. Relationships are key to connecting tables so we can analyze our data effectively. Most relationships are one to many, but sometimes we also encounter many to many relationships. Many to many relationships occur when multiple records from one table are related to multiple records in another table. For example, I have the actuals and the budget table here and I have to create a relationship between these two tables. I have the fruit field here which is common. When you take a closer look at the fruit field here, you can notice that apple is repeated twice here. Likewise, I have watermelon which is repeating twice here and on my budgets table also I have apple which is repeating twice and kiwi here is repeating twice and you can see that in both of these tables there are no single records that are available there are multiple records of one single fruit so when you create a relationship between these two tables when i join the fruit here with the fruit in the actual table power bi creates a relationship which is which has the cardinality of many to many and it gives you a warning here which says that this relationship has cardinality many many this should only be used when you understand the behavior of many to many relationship. Now, what exactly do you mean by different behavior of many to many relationship? Let's take a look at that. I'm going to click on save here and create many to many relationship. Let's go to the uh, table view here just to understand the data set that I have here. I'm right now in the actual table. I have the first column here, which is fruit date and the actual amount here and you can notice that I have the fruit apple which is repeating twice here this is basically a transaction table I have my first June date and fifth June date I don't have a unique fruit record here likewise if I go to my budgets it's the similar table but has the budget column and I have the different fruits available here as well I have fruits I have date I have budget now quickly let's go to our report view now let's say our requirement is that we display fruits we display the date, we display the sum of actuals and we display the sum of budgets. All of this data in one single table. Now let's see how we can do this. In the interest of time, I've created this table here and I have fruit, date, sum of actuals, sum of budgets. Notice that the fruit column here, I can either bring in from my actuals table or I can bring in from my budgets table. So this is one of the constraint here. Now when you take a look at this table, you might say that the tape data here is perfectly looking all right and there are no issues with this particular table because i have fruit appearing here i have date some of actual some of budgets everything seems to be appearing fine now let's take a closer look let's filter on fruit apple here and you can notice that i have apple here which is coming in from my actual table i have the date again which is coming in from my actual table first june and fifth june sum of actuals 150 200 which is exactly what we have here but take a look at the sum of budgets now when you take a look at this you can notice that the total amount in my budget table here of first june and second june is 500 but when we take a look at this table here the 500 is repeating for both of these dates which is first june and fifth june However, in my budget table, I don't have any data for 5th of June. Even though I don't have any data in my budget table, in my actuals and budgeted combined table, I have the sum of budgets repeating here, which means that the data that we are displaying on this table is not correct. It's not accurate. So this is caused by the many to many relationships that we have created. Now let's take a look at another example. On my actual table, I have a fruit here called orange and that is appearing right here. Against that, I have the date, I have the sum of actuals, which is 300 and that is displaying correct. And I don't have any value against the budget. The reason is because I don't have an orange fruit appearing in my budget table. This looks fine. But what happens when I have a fruit in my budget table, which is not there in my actual table? Now let's take a look at that example. I have the fruit here called blueberry which is available in my budgets table against the date 2nd of June 
and it is not available in my actual stable and that is why I don't see the blueberry fruit appearing in my actuals and budgets combined table. Now this is another issue that we will face when you create many to many relationships. So these are the two scenarios which I wanted to quickly take you through whenever we create many to many relationships. These are the issues that we will face but apart from these we also have different issues like filtering issues, you have your performance issues, we might end up creating complex calculations etc. Now we've looked at various issues that will arise when you create a many to many relationship but the question is how are you going to mitigate this particular problem so let us see how we can do that so to help mitigate this issue of many to many relationship we will have to create something called as a bridge table now there are different ways of how you can create this bridge table you can also create a bridge table using power query but in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a bridge table using DAX. so let's get started let's head to the modeling tab and let's click on new table I'm going to call this as bridge table is equals to let's start by defining a variable here I'm gonna say var actuals is equals to values of the fruit from my actual table I'm going to define the second variable here and I'm gonna call this as budget is equals to values values of fruit from my budget table and then I'm gonna say return union of actual comma budget make sure you select the variables that we have created here and then click on confirm once you do that a new table has been created called bridge table let's quickly take a look at this and now you can see that we've created a bridge table let's quickly sort this by ascending or descending and you can still see that there are some duplicate values which means that when we create a relationship this is still going to result in creating many to many relationships now let's pass in another function here so that we only bring in the unique values so i'm going to use the distinct function here and pass in the rest of the function here the union function within the distinct here and click on confirm now let's go back to our table view and when we take a look at the data now we only have the unique values in our bridge table and this is exactly what we wanted now this table can also have have different columns from your data set if you would like to add but make sure that the fruit column here has unique values now let's go back to our model view this is where we will now create the relationship between the budget and the actual table we will delete the relationship that we had created earlier and now the fruit field from the bridge table gets connected to the fruit field in my actuals or budget table here and now I have one too many relationship and click on save and likewise I will create a relationship from fruit to the fruit field in my actual table which is again one to many relationship I'm going to click on save I have now created a bridge table which has one to many relationship between the actuals and the budget table and in the interest of time I've also added a calendar table here and I've created a relationship between the budgets and the actuals using the date field if you don't know how to create a calendar table I will leave a link to that particular video in the description below you can check that out now that I've created the data model here let's go back to my report view I'm going to create a copy of this particular table and make some changes now instead of having the fruit here from the actual table I'm going to get rid of this and bring in the fruit from my bridge table I now have the fruit field here coming in from the bridge table likewise instead of having the date from my actual table I'm going to get rid of this and bring in the date from my calendar table and let me change this to date instead of having hierarchy here and now I have a table created which displays fruit date sum of actuals and sum of budgets now let's quickly filter this data and check out if it is working fine or not let's select apple here and it is not working the reason it is not working is because I have the fruit filter here coming in from my actual table and that I don't have any relationship with this table here or the bridge table I'm going to get rid of this and bring in the fruit field from my bridge table make sure this is an important step make sure that you use the right field to filter your data and now when I click on Apple you will notice that on my left table here which had many to many relationship I only have two different values here where I wherein you should have had three different dates which is 1st June 5th June 
and 2nd June and on my right side table here which wherein we created a bridge table and created the right relationship I now have three different rows here 1st June 2nd June 5th June I also have the sum of actuals here which is 150 and 200 which is displaying correctly against 1st June and 5th June 150 and 200 the totals is 350 likewise the budgets here are against the dates 1st June and 2nd June I have that data available here against 1st June and 2nd June and the right breakup as well. On this table here, you're seeing 500 in total of the sum of budgets. But on the right side table here, you can see the breakup against those two dates, which means that the one to many relationship that we created using the bridge table is actually working. And now let's take it. Let's get rid of the slicer here. On my left table here, I had the fruit orange, which was appearing here. But on, the on my right table here, I had the fruit uh, blue here which was not appearing on this table but now on this particular table you can see that when I scroll down I have the fruit orange here that is being displayed I also have the fruit blueberry here which is being displayed so you don't really have to worry about one of the fruits missing from either the actuals or the budget table so this is one of the way of how you can mitigate the many to many relationship issue so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this tutorial was helpful to you in understanding the many to many relationship the causes the issues that you will face when you create many to many relationships and how you can solve that particular issue well, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials